Hola amigos, it's just the tips here, man. I'm Dante. I'm Tar. And you are listening to Just the Tips uh, Let's Plays. Woo! Give it a round of applause, guys. Yes, sir. We we made this channel for our voices to be heard. Oh yeah. And finally, our voices are heard. Hey, last year, we didn't have, I think we had like 40, 40 followers. On here? Yeah. Less than that. Less than that. Now look at 30s. us. Now look at us. We up. True. It's all about perspective. Perspective. What, what was told to me, and I'm trying my best, but sometimes demons fight back, is you can't compare yourself to other people because everybody has their own path. One day you're on top of the world, Kanye West. The next day, you're on the bottom. Everybody has their own path. True. Just do what you can. True. True. All right. I'm going to get to read, man. All right. The Mickey's glaring at me. True. Very well. I'll explain. Actually, judge, you do it. Me? Um, ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shots. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Oh my god, not the fingerprints of Mr. Edgeworth. Wow. What more? Or this is bad. That got bad quick. <clears throat> this makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge. I'd say it's almost decisive evidence, yes. Or decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However, you wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last 10 minutes. George! M yes? What are you doing? A 10 minute recess, now! But, but, but wait! Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man! D yes? Um, this court will take a 10 minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? What the heck is going on? Who has seniority is the question. Mm. Man's been at it for what, 40 years? Hasn't lost a single case. 1109, defendant lobby number two. Dante, this is the girl. This is the second girl I like. Huh. Okay. She had curly hair. But now? But now, I don't know what the fuck she got on. But she looked fine either way. That's all that matters. And she got a dump tea. A dump you know truck. we men like dump tees. Yes, sir. We love dump tees. Humpty Dumpty. It's hard if you don't got a dump tea, bro. You losing if you don't have a dumpty. Go yeah. to the gym. Get your yams up. Anyways, yeah. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon? Uh, hmm. And the foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only, the only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. Hmm. True. Was that you in the boat? Hmm. 
Yes, it was me. Huh? What? But you must, but you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Then, then who did? I don't know. What? You don't know? Weren't you right there? Yeah. Hmm. I heard a gunshot from very close by. Oh. Oh, in the snap. other, uh, <laughs> but, 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 but I don't know. I can't, I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Oh. You, you mean it was suicide? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hmm. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh? How am I going to convince anyone of that? Right. Say, Maya. Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? Oh, sorry, it's no good. Uh. I know I'm a disappointment. I didn't say that. I'm no good for anything, am I? We're in the courtroom. What are you talking about? <laughs> if I can't go, my it's, sister. It's together, woman. You are last the girl. I might as well not be here, right? Yeah, you're useless. <laughs> um, well, actually, you don't know law. You don't have any trial experience or techniques. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much useless, but I can't say that. <laughs> it's okay, Nick. You don't have to say anything. Your face said it for you. <laughs> Whoops. No, 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 no. No, of course we are. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Nick. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Ah, uh, everyone has their off days sometimes. I mean, I've just got, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. <laughs> really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Right. Don't jinx this case anymore than it already is. True. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, sorry. Whoopsie daisy. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy, Birchworth. Whoopsie. Court is now back in session. I'm gonna try to find a better photo of her for you. All right. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Mm, yes. Here go her dumpty. Sheesh. Jimmer. Will Miss Lotta Hart takes a stand? Lotta. I'd smash in a heartbeat. In a instant. Heart, heartbeat, huh? Like a lot of heart beat. <laughs> like if I see you on the street and you're across the street, I'm instantly walking over. No, not wasting no time. Instantly? Instant. No, we could be in the middle of the conversation. You'll be like, Nick, where you going? I'm not talking to nobody. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is that what you call love? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like nothing will stop you from your destination. Nobody. Not friends, not family, nothing. It might be. It might be. I don't know. I guess it depends on if they feel the same way or not. I got to figure it out. She needs to come back on. I wanna, I wanna. If she follow me, I can message her, but I can't message her. I'm like, yo, message me. Get the talk going. Get my talk game up. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, we can have TikTok girlfriends. One guy meet up in real life. You could just be my girlfriend on a, on a, uh, over the phone. You ain't never had no girlfriend over the phone? No. I've had multiple women. Mm. Hold on. Wait a minute. Now. <laughs> I've had, I've had a girlfriend or two over the phone. I've had, a, I've, I've, I've had a girlfriend or two over the phone. We've never met up in person, but. 
You know, we could talk about our days and stuff like that over the phone. We don't have to meet up. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It makes the lonely less lonely. True. I ain't playing chestnut checkers, you know. You can be out of a relationship, but just have a have a little girlfriend on the side. Not really in the same state, could be out of state. Yeah. Have a meet up. We just talk about life and shit. Play games and shit. Cut your hair and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, I'm giving y'all free game while y'all bum-ass niggas out here, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you lonely, go ahead and get you a little, uh, phone, little girlfriend on here. Phone man. or social yeah. media girlfriend. Get your social media girlfriend or some shit like that, man. Y'all could talk about y'all day and shit. Make the lonely less lonely. Yeah. Be be each other's motivation and shit. Yeah. And then hopefully that sprout into something. I've seen that shit happen all the time. There was just people, it was two, there was a couple who played Halo. We played Halo for a long time, and then they met each other, went on a couple dates, and got married off the Halo tip. So don't let your memes be dreams, all right? Yeah. Follow them shits, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Oh, man. I love you, boy. Don't ever tell nobody you're ugly. Don't ever let nobody say you're ugly with your ugly ass. <laughs> All right, Dante, go ahead, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Um, about a heart, you are a research student at a university. That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? <laughs> Y'all need to learn some manners. Mm. Understand. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Very well. Get your testimony, please. Witness testimony. It was Christmas Day Eve just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard a thing come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There was an area thing on the lake with that boat. All right. Mm. Enough. Yeah. Judge, she happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo, accepted as evidence. Well. This is a surprise. This looks like a, the very moment of the murder. Oh my God, no way is there that the exact moment. The photo. I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat was a victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. No way, Mr. Edgeworth in the photo. No order, order. I want, I order. Mm. Well, Judge. Mm. The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Slap. Very well. This court finds the defendant. Objection, your Wait, honor. Wait, your honor. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination. <laughs> we have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words and they all read guilty. You lose, or do you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony? They switched up the flows. They did. Uh. They did. Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. Look at that nigga Ascot. I mean, brooch, whatever the fuck that <laughs> is. What is that shit? Nah, I don't. That's what the sailors be wearing back in the 1700s when they were selling on your bitch. The cufflinks. Mm. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. 
you will fail to find anything. And then I would have you held in contempt of court. Oh, uh, Nick. Contempt? Contempt? Contempt of court, you know. I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts of her testimony? Yes. I think there was. Because the I think the three shots compared to the two shots. I think I noticed one little thing. Well, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Right. Let's take him on. Y yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry. We got this. I understand. I will cross-examination the witness. Very well. I pray for your sake, this isn't a waste of time. <laughs> we'll find out if it's a waste of time next, next time, time on Just the Tips. tips. Uh, tip of the day. Per se. Um... Man. Okay. So, when there's ice on the road, make sure you drive call with caution. What the fuck kind of just a tip was that, man? Some people that are more in the south or where it's warmer, they don't realize they have to drive more cautiously when the road is icy and slick. Give them some real stuff, man. Give them a real one. Don't play with our viewers' time, all right? Give us some real That'll stuff. That'll save some people's lives right there. Give them a real one, man. When hmm. you come, you got to come correct. Hey, yo. Give them a real one. All right. Speaking of coming, <laughs> always use protection. Tip of the day. <laughs> all right. That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> our demographic is what it... Uh, young kids, young 19, 24 year old demo, they know about the rules of the road. The right. rules of the trade. We're not, we're not some kids show. No. And all the older people, they know. Yep. Let's not insult our viewers' intelligence, you know. Yeah, man. All right. Peace. <laughs>